exactly what you said is what the exit polls were telling us. I'm worried about two things, the economy and jobs, and I'm worried about people going to Washington and doing something for their constituents and not for their own political benefit. I will tell you that is a large order when it comes mm. to Washington, D.C. And voters really have been dissatisfied with Washington. We've seen that both with Pre President Obama and the Congress. There was also a feeling of lack of leadership, lack of faith in government and government institutions. We saw that with the Ebola crisis. And finally, outside of an opinion, Republicans really have finally figured out how to get out the vote. And that's not something they've been very good at before. We saw it here in Florida. We saw it in North Carolina. We saw it in Virginia. They've become much, much better at it since uh, 2012. You're now starting to hear about some of those big issues the Republicans want to take on. Reforming the tax code, budget issues, and of course the Keystone Pipeline issue that's been held up now for several years. The question is, which you asked him on earlier, is what happens with immigration reform? Now Republicans didn't get the 60 votes they need to overcome a filibuster, nor the 67 needed to override a presidential veto. But you know, Scott, even before they get to any of that and how they're going to work with the administration, Republican leaders are really going to have to both in the House and Senate get their own party in line. The House is much more conservative and there are several members of the Senate as we know who now want to run for president and so how will they use those issues for their own benefit. As Taman stated the president's going to be having a press conference this afternoon. Look for questions to center around how he plans to use those veto powers that he has. He's only used them twice so far so far and that's been for technical issues and of course how he will use executive orders. And then finally on Friday he's going to be meeting with the congressional leadership. Let's see how that goes and how long we see some sort of conciliation here in Washington D.C. I'm Regina Hopper. Medical marijuana goes up in smoke, but will it come back in another form? This issue came to the ballot for a political reason and it got beat for a political reason. And so, but yes, the legislature does have the ability to bring it up. Will they bring it yeah, up right. will mm -hmm. be the issue because it, it, there were some who argued that the reason that Charlotte's Web was even in the legislative process was an ability to kind of buffer against the amendment too. In other words, for those who didn't support amendment two to be able to say, we gave you something in the legislature, you don't have to support amendment